Hello and welcome to a new studio vlog. This studio vlog is kind of a mess, it's just me painting um, and later in this video I will show you how I edit my illustrations. So yeah, if you want to see that then please keep watching. First, if you're new here then please 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 subscribe to my channel, it really helps my channel grow and yeah, it literally every time i get a subscriber i do a little happy dance so if you want to make me do a happy dance then please subscribe it would mean a lot to me and if you are already subscribed then thank you so much um but yeah back to the actual video as you can see i am doing a little beetle painting um you saw me working on this in my last studio vlog for a little bit i think or maybe it was the other one on the left but i'm not sure wait hold on no i mean the page on the right uh, still hot <laughs> but yeah um i think i worked on that um in my last studio vlog but um yeah i did finish it uh and i started working on the other one and these two paintings are actually gonna be stickers and about my stickers i know i keep mentioning them like all the time in my videos but i don't really say much about them but basically i am doing three sticker sets um and i'm not gonna say like what i'm doing exactly but yeah i have been working on these stickers for i think the whole summer and i mean i have been working on lots of different things so that's why it's taking me a little long but yeah, as I said in my last video, I want to take the time to finish them and like be really happy with a product because it really sucks when you make a product and you rush it and then like after a while you realize that you don't really like it because you still have to sell it and it kind of sucks selling products that you are not really behind, you know? So, so with all these new products I am working on, I really want to be happy with the things I am creating so that's why it's taking a little long um, but I still am working really hard on them um, I don't know if I did mention it already I think I did but I'm not sure I am back to school this week was my first week and I am in my last year so uh, after this year I am done with school which is an exciting thought but also a really scary one but I am really excited to be graduated and you know like do my own thing and stuff also I have been obsessed with audiobooks I tried it for like two weeks. I am literally obsessed. I do listen to a lot of podcasts, but sometimes, I don't know, like, even though I do listen to lots of different ones, it all gets a bit the same, you know? And actually listening to a book makes me feel a little bit more productive. So actually, I really do like reading. So for me, it is really nice to listen to an audiobook while painting because I can basically combine those two things so yeah it's really nice I love it so much and when I was painting this beetle I was listening to Watching You by Lisa Jewell and I recently read a few of her books and I did really like them so I was really excited about this one um, it did remind me a lot of The Woman in the Window I don't remember the author but it's a really popular book right now so I'm sure that if you read now and then then you know what book I'm talking about but if you did read that one I think you will really like this one as well it is a bit more complicated I think like the woman in the window didn't have a lot of characters which I always really like because sometimes I struggle with like remembering names and stuff so yeah I did really like that and you know it is a different story but it did remind me a lot of the woman in the window as i said and yeah if you also paint or do something else like i don't know knit or do embroidery or anything creative then i would really recommend audiobooks
excited about. Um, I did Inktober one time, which is two years ago now, I think, and I still have the sketchbook video of that one up on my YouTube channel, so if you want to see it, it is on my channel. And I think I'm going to do like a little preparation for Inktober video on my channel, but I can't promise it because, as I said, I am back to school and I don't know how busy I will be because I'm really gonna focus on school this year. I don't think there will be a video like every week, but I am really gonna try. But as I said, I'm really gonna focus on school, so school goes first. Also, I think I'm gonna sell the originals of the Inktober challenge because I don't think I'm gonna make them like really expensive or something. It's just a way for me to sell originals for like a really reasonable price so yeah maybe I will do a little video about preparations for Inktober so yeah this sort of like I may add some details later tonight but first I wanna um hold on so I already showed these and this one I finished in my latest video I asked if anyone wanted to see how I edit these um like digital so yeah, I thought this was a perfect example um, for showing you because I don't really like these actually. I think this one is fine. Um, I don't think I'm gonna use this one. I might try to edit this one and make it a bit nicer digital. And this is actually an example of an illustration that I'm not really gonna change. Um, I might make these little bits a bit whiter and maybe um, make these things like even, which I always do, um, but besides that, um, I don't think I'm gonna change much, maybe like add a little contrast, um, yeah, but besides that, I'm not gonna change a lot, so, yeah, and as I said, I don't really like these, um, I never really paint flowers, so, yeah. And I was using my new paints with the, these ones and <laughs> the paint is so pigmented and they turned out a lot darker than I was intending to. But yeah, I might try to make this one a bit lighter in Photoshop. So yeah, and uh, I want to scan these in as well but um, I'm not really like 100% happy with this one yet so I think I'm just gonna leave this one for now and maybe finish it tonight but I really wanted to show you in a video how I edit my illustrations so yeah so first I'm gonna scan these two in and then I will show you scan in my illustration I use a Cano scan 9000 F Mark II I do recommend it it is a little bit expensive though like I think there are cheaper ones on the market that work as well when I have my illustration scanned in I have a little TIFF file which I put into Photoshop and then I delete the background and then the first thing I do is I add a little bit of contrast I always go to curves in Photoshop and then I just play a little bit with like how much contrast I'm going to add usually I don't 
add too much because when you get things printed it will always turn out a lot more vibrant than it looks on screen so if you add too much contrast or like saturation or make the colors too bright then it will definitely look like it's too much when you get your prints printed even though it looks perfect on screen so that's a thing that you want to keep in mind And after I've done that, which like takes me like a few minutes, I just take a little look at the illustration. And this one is actually the example of a one that I'm not really gonna edit much. I didn't do much with this one, as you can see. I always make the antennas of the butterfly even, um, which is like a really small thing, but I always find that it looks a bit nicer when you get prints or stickers made. And then I just added a little bit more contrast in like a few spots and I made the white bits a bit whiter because I kind of messed up there. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's basically it. That's how I edit most of my paintings. is this little flower I kind of did like the painting but if I would just leave it like this if I just edited it like the butterfly one and I would just leave it like that then it would look a bit like a blob when I would turn it into a sticker because I am making it a little bit smaller than the original painting so I wanted to add a bit more contrast definition you know a bit more shadows and stuff I find it kind of hard to explain what I do exactly besides like deleting the background and adding a little bit of contrast. Um, and yeah, that's basically what I do. Uh, I don't do much, a lot of paintings, I don't really edit like as i said i just delete the background and a little bit of contrast and that's it actually um sometimes i change the colors as well which i actually did with a little uh, blue ish flower because i really didn't like it um but overall i don't do much and even if i do like i don't think it is a crime to edit your illustrations because i still think this is like digital painting but yeah that's it it's really simple but i find it really easy but i really do like editing my illustrations this way so yeah decided to just change it and after this I ended up liking it even though it looks a bit weird when you zoom in this much <laughs> but from afar it looks it looks a lot better than it was before and that's the goal so yeah I don't know if this is like really helpful but this is basically how I edit my illustrations it is nothing special I honestly have no idea what I'm doing <laughs> um, but yeah Everything 
uh, thank you so much for watching I didn't film anything after this so yeah <laughs> again thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next video bye